Well, moving on now, did you know that the month of August is National Catfish Month? Catfish play an important role in maintaining the health of freshwater ecosystems, and Nebraska is home to several different species. Joining us now with more is Monica McCoubrey with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Good morning, nice to have you here. Yeah, good morning. So Monica, we're talking about catfish today. How many different types of catfish are in our state? Yeah, well, a lot of people probably know the channel catfish. Um, it's our state fish and also one that I think most of us have had an opportunity to fish for. That was my first fish that I ever caught, and so those good memories. Mm -hmm. But um, overall, we have about eight different species of catfish. Um, they're kind of divided into three groups. We have the catfishes, we have the bullheads, and then the smaller ones are called mad toms. So those are managed as a non-game fish, so ones that we don't fish for. But things like bullheads, flatheads, blue cats, channel cats, all of those are ones that people go out and fish for. Mm -hmm. Okay, what makes them unique? What are some of the things that stand out? Yeah, well, I think most people know catfish. They get their name from those barbels or those cool whiskers on their face. Okay. Um, a lot of people think that they're um, sharp or that they can sting you. They're actually pretty soft around their face. Um, and another cool thing about catfish is that they are naked, so they don't have any scales on them. Um, so if you've ever touched a catfish, it's kind of just like slimy, wet skin. Um, so they've developed kind of some other things that help keep them safe, but they really just don't need scales. Um, and another thing that's really neat about catfish is that they have tons of taste buds all over their body. They're literally known as the swimming tongues, um, so they can detect things in the water, because usually where they live, it's very murky, it's muddy, um, so they gotta be able to find their mates and find their food. So those barbels and all those swimming um, taste buds really help them feel their way around. What's their eyesight like? It's not great. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can see their eyes are fairly small, so yeah. they rely on other senses like the feeling and their barbels um, just to kind of detect things in the water. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Boy, I learned a lot there. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah. What is going on in terms of research uh, here in the state? Yeah, so catfish are basically our number one fish that people fish for, our anglers fish for. Um, so we have a lot of monitoring projects, mostly in um, Pawnee State Recreation Area and Branched Oak. Um, those are really hot spots for catfish fishing. Um, so we're monitoring them. We're going to stock some blue catfish this fall. Um, so people are looking forward to that. Um, but basically just checking that the fish that we stock there, that they're doing well, that their populations are continuously growing. Um, so that we can have good fish for people to, to go fish for. Mm -hmm. and so it's National Catfish Month. Yes, it is yeah. National Catfish Month. So okay. celebrating all those fun species. Okay, and yeah. just a reminder for folks to go out and fish. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you want to find more information, go to OutdoorNebraska.gov and you can search catfish too. Mm -hmm. Boy, I, I, you know, and, and you can find them everywhere, right? And yes. All over the state. All over, yeah. There's mm -hmm. some that are more kind of eastern side, but overall you can find like channel catfish everywhere in the state. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I remember you saying bullheads. I mm -hmm. remember people talking about bullheads. Yeah. I guess I didn't really realize those are actually catfish. They are, yeah. They're huh. just, they look a little different, but they're all in that catfish family. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. okay. Thanks for all the information today. Yeah, yeah. thank you.